So now let's talk about inventory management methods because it's very different based on where you are in the supply chain. Okay, so this is another example. Let's say you are you are manufacturing bikes with raw materials factory. You have a big DC in the US, and then you have small dis distribution centers per maybe West Coast, East Coast, and um, middle uh, middle of the US. For example, I, li I lived in Nashville, for example, for a few months. <laughs> and yeah, and what is important is the lead time. If you have a short lead time, what we call it's more it's more like what we call replenishment. You already have the inventory. And what we're going to do, you're going to do like a replenishment driven by sales. And one of the mistakes is to push too much inventory uh, to your distribution centers and to your retail point, for example. OK, so when you have a small lead time like this, you don't need to do a forecast for the next six months of your products. Keep it very simple. We do replenishment. I'm using, for example, the min max method, which is very efficient and very simple. And many companies, they make it very complex. <laughs> so replenishment should be easy, automatic and simple with only a few parameters. It's more complex when you have longer lead time, like, oh, I need to buy my products from Mexico or from China with eight weeks lead time or eight months with raw materials from India. So now the more, the longer is the lead time, the longer will be uh, like clear, the higher will be the uncertainty and uh, you will have to go back to more safety stock strategy, forecasting and uh, different strategies per group of products. OK, so this is very two, this is two different approach based on mostly based on the level of uncertainty and lead time. And whatever you have a retail company, you can focus on the replenishment between the reserve and the store or from a small DC. If you are in the warehouse, it could be like very short. For example, you have a, a replenishment between the storage area and the picking area. This is like hours lead time or from a supply, which could be one or two days uh, lead time or maybe uh, one or two months or even six months lead time. We have the same in the manufacturing. You, should, you could have a very short lead time between component and production, but you could have a very long one to get the components from China if you're in the US, for example. So at the end, Based on this uncertainty and lead time, you will use different methods from not having very complex with replenishment, simple min max, dynamic min max, or dynamic A, B, C, Y, Z, safety stock and forecasting based on the level of uncertainty. And I just wanted to give you this introduction because it's not, it's not about your industry, it's about it, we use the same principle per industry where we change your lead time, your level of volatility and uncertainty and level of risk. And based on that, you should use a different method to face and make sure you find the right balance between inventory and service. So now if you want to go deeper, I'm going to tell you how and I see you for the next episode. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video about inventory management. If you want to go deeper on this topic, we do have a new free masterclass where I'm going to share with you the best strategies, tools, and Excel file to improve your inventory management, talking about demand uncertainty, how to mitigate your supplier's lead time and delay, what are the best strategies, how to automate everything, and the 13 parameters you should master for inventory management with real examples from Walmart, Zara, Tesla, Apple, and Amazon, and an Excel file you will be able to download. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I analyze and optimize my inventory in less than five minutes. So you have all the details below this video. And we also um, um, offer a different free masterclass, uh, like the one about how to generate more accurate forecasts, very linked to inventory ma management. I do this one with the expert from Amazon in forecasting and machine learning. How, what are the best KPIs and dashboards in supply chain? How to automate your task on Excel with Power Query? It's super simple and efficient. Uh, how, to, uh, well, how to implement a new like SNP and collaborative uh, process? And also, what are the best strategies to become expert and leader? So check below this video. Let us know if you have any questions. Leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you for supporting us. I'm coming uh, back very soon. Thank you.